Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is a Two Point Hospital Strategy and Tactics. But this is not a quick tip. No, um, so I've uh, had actually several people calling for this, and I think uh, the, the time is right for this. A walkthrough. I've been giving you lots of little tips, individual rooms, individual tactics, individual strategies, but it's one thing to, to know how to do one little thing, it's another to put it all together. Um, so I decided, um, I also saw that a lot of people, a lot of newer players were having problem with one of the early levels, Matan University. So I figured I'd put two and two together and let's do a full walkthrough of Matan University. Now, in this particular career save, so I don't have an abundance of advantages that a newer player may not have, uh, I have three-starred the three starter levels. I also three-starred Tumble. But other than that, we got uh, we have nothing else uh, going for us. So we've only farmed up and unlocked the items um, and the kudosh that we've gotten from three th three starring. And you can go straight to Matan University. You do not have to go to Tumble first. A lot of players also have a problem with Tumble, but. Um, Let's uh, let's dive into Matan because I I happen to love Matan University. It's one of my favorite levels. Uh, so let's do it. Okay, so Matan University has a couple of gimmicks going for it. First off, it's one of the earlier cold levels, so we do need a uh, heat temperature fixer around the hospital. We'll need to keep that in mind in our rooms as we build. But the other major thing that's going on for Matan is the learning pool. All of your doctors and all of your nurses will always be untrained students. Um, and in order to get them up in skills, you have to train them yourself. Now, at, on surface, this sounds like a really, really mean restriction for this level, but I personally love this mechanic, and I'll show you how I, how I like to use and abuse it. Now, speaking of strategies and tactics, so we're going to get started with our January Gambit. If you remember from my uh, January Gambit video, that's, that means we're going to start out with a training room. Um, now, as far as doing an Oklahoma uh, training room or not, um, I don't have the bookcases yet, so I can't really do the, pull the Oklahoma training room off effectively. So I'm going to go with the Space Saver, the, the simple 3x3. Three three. Um, now, as far as where I'm going to put this thing, um, uh, let's see here. We're, um, one thing that, so what I'm doing here is I'm spacing things out. So this, this doorway kind of makes its own spaces because these little two columns kind of butted out here. So it kind of makes its own three space hallway right here. One, two, three. Um, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it, let it, let it have its spacing. Um, and then I'm just going to, uh, I'd say we'll, we'll let it have a room over here, but that's not where we're going to put this because we don't, we don't need the training room in sort of prime time as it were. So what I'm going to do instead, actually, let's just tuck this thing down here. The other thing we want to keep in mind, proximity to the helipad. You know what? We're going to put it over here. One, two, three, boom. I think that's a, I think that's a good place for it. And we'll put the door over here again. Proximity to the helipad. Get the get those trainers in in there earlier. Um, now again with the training room, I always put two desks. Two seems to be the magic number for me. Uh, now as far as unlocking stuff goes, I've already spent my kudosh on um, on some of the. Um, some of the items here, um, the most important two of which that uh, that you can get just through kudosh, uh, rather than having to go through and, and earn them through the levels, is the anatomy model and the, uh, the the anatomy brain poster, or just the regular anatomy poster. These things are going to boost our training uh, rating here. Um, they're a little, I mean, the, the anatomy model is pretty solid through and through. Um, they're, you know, they, they cost a fair amount, but we can sort of stack them up like this. 
Uh, people don't necessarily need to get to them. All right, that's that's a that's about good. Level level four, level four. You know what? We'll get we'll get you guys just for a little entertainment. We'll give you some some gold star awards over here, just so that you have that. And then, you know what, a few brain anatomy posters on this side. Just to get that training speed up here, because we're going to be doing quite a bit of training here. And we should get ourselves a nice, uh, a nice level, level five here. And then last but not least, remember, we need our temperature fixer. So we're going to put that, uh, let's say, right about here. That's pretty good for an early training room. Yes, it's a bit different than my original space saver uh, model here, but it works. Now, this also lopped a pretty penny off of our uh, training budget here, uh, our initial starting funds, but that's okay. We're going to we're going to be training up a storm here, so don't you worry. Don't you worry. Right then. So, uh, now, next things next, we got to start training people up. And the other part of the January Gambit is you don't hire anybody except the person that you're training. Or in this case, persons. We uh, we want to start training up some GPs, because uh, those are going to be critical. And since we're going to be training one, we might as well train two. Um, because again, one one GP plus a spare. We'll have, a in, with one GP's room, we'll have instantly as, as many GPs as we need. Uh, natural mentor, charming and hygienic. Fantastic. In you go, my friend. Uh, let's see. Hygienic motivated or thinks their life is high energy. Now the high energy, uh, I like that. Um, I like that actually better than the others. So we're going to go for Mr. Hygienic here too. Um... Right then. So, a couple of things when we hire somebody new here. Um, gonna do a couple of things. First off, I'm gonna do some name in game patrons. Uh, be naming some of the doctors and nurses off after them. If you guys want to get in on that name in game stuff, take a look at my Patreon link and the link below. Uh, so, here we got uh, Dr. Boyd. Um, and let's see for customization that I'm going to have our GPs wear the normal outfit, but we're going to turn off those, these things, uh, for our doctors here. Cause we want them only working in the GP for these two, two particulars. Um, and then for you, Dr. Cameron. All right. So we've got you all sorted out here. Excellent. All right, now let's get our training in here. So the way I usually do training is um, I select the trainees first, then I select what I want them to learn, and then I find a trainer. In this particular case, obviously, we're going to have to get someone from the outside. We want general practice and Dr. E. Huggles. Come get it. OK, um, and yeah, that's that's our that's our thing. We're, we're going to hold off on building anything else. We're going to hold off on hiring anybody else. And we're just going to let the game cook. Um, and yes, I know we're going to have some people um, showing up. Um, and they're going to not be able to find reception. And that's perfectly peachy. Oh yeah, one other thing with the January Gambit. We've already cleared out some of our uh, doctors. Are there any nurses with bad traits that we just want to axe to make room for? Want some more money is... I mean, it's bad. It's not. It's not the worst thing in the world. Hygienic, and spy. Wow. Hmm. Well, we can we can get rid of the the wants more money. Um, now, luckily, we get seated skills for our janitors. And actually, one thing that we we may want to do um, as far as hiring and getting up there is getting our um, start start working on our upgrades here. So since we have in our starting janitor here a mechanics janitor, uh, we are going to hire you. And since we're going to be keeping with the the uh, three by uh, so's here, uh, let's get the pharmacy because that's the first thing that I want to get up and running and and working here is getting that pharmacy. Um, now we're going to do a a modified version of the cherry pharmacy. 
Um, a lot of people who uh, have this game on console have commented that they can't fine-tune adjust the door. So, f to their credit, I am all, I am going to be doing these builds without fine-tune door adjustments. Uh, just so that you can follow along at home. Um, so what I am going to do, however, is get these medicine cabinets, because these are going to be very important to boosting our early... Um, treatment success percentages and minimizing deaths. Um, it's almost impossible to completely eliminate deaths, but we can try. Um, and then let's see, an extinguisher? Can we fit an extinguisher? Yes, no, maybe so? Actually we can over here. Um, and then we can do a uh, the, the, getting the chair in the cherry uh, pharmacy here. Yeah, right about there, so. I'm not fleshing out these little middle ones only because I see, I, I found that it slows them down a little bit and we're trying to save a little bit of money. Um, so again, just I plop that down just so we can get working on the upgrades for it uh, uh, sooner rather than later. But otherwise, they're just doing their things. That way, this thing is nice and upgraded um, in time for the patients, and we can go from there. Whack, whack, whack. Yes, I know. So here, here we have our first patient, but they're going to wait. They'll be perfectly happy to wait. And then once we slap down a reception, we can build out the rest of our rooms, hire the rest of our people, uh, or hire more of our people, rather, and go from there. Okay, so let's uh, let's get our reception down. Actually, before, before we slap down our reception, let's actually build out uh, more of our things. So over here, since this seems to be the, the by three uh, thing, we're going to do a, uh, a GP's office here. And again, minimum uh, quarter size of two tiles. So we're going to keep it at that. Um, yeah, I'm OK with having the door facing this way. That should be OK. Uh, we are going to pursue the Milton style GP's office here. Because uh, it is very important to get these uh, get these in place, so you can get those higher initial diagnosis levels here. I usually like to just do a simple ring around the rosy here. It's faster and easier to place them. Um, oh, did I not put? I don't think I put a radiator in here. So we're gonna radiator you, and we're gonna radiator you. Because again, don't forget your temperature fixers. Um, as far as our um, awards here go. Yeah, I know I didn't put awards over there. You know, I'm going to hold off on the awards for the moment. They're not actually hypercritical right away. Uh, and you sometimes can get staff challenges to upgrade a room from level three to level four. So that would be a, a way to, to prompt for it. Um, if we start getting lower staff morale, then we'll do that. All right, now let's uh, let's get some of our larger rooms in place here. Well, you know what? Let's get our reception. Let's get our reception. Um, now over here, we can we can we, I'd say we can assume that we're gonna have um, a three tile wide um, thing here. So you know what? I'm okay doing the reception front and center because we can build around this. We do, however, have to hire an assistant. Um, you know what? We can have an assist. Well, I don't know. I'm not so keen on um, grumpy. Uh, you know what? High energy. Yeah, you know what? You're a little bit better. So go for it. Once we flesh out some of the more buildings, then I'll start building the the temperature and 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 what have you uh, fixers around around here. All right, our two GPs are done. Our drug mixer is all fixed up. So, um, and we got now the other gimmick uh, to sort of make up for it is every person you train, you get 5,000 bucks. Now that does not replace the cost that it costs you to train them, but it helps it, it helps ease the sting. Um, oh yeah, one other thing. I'm gonna grab David Parker here. I know we already have one janitor um, with the upgrade, but uh, having a ghost capture on staff is also really good. 
Um, now, we did just finish up the Drug Mixer 2. Now, this is uh, this next bit of uh, advice is going to run a little bit contrary to uh, some of my other videos. So in my nurses video, I stated that you do not need diagnostic nurses. Um, and you know what? For my later hospitals, I stand by that. However, um, because we don't have immediate access to the x-ray and because we're going to have some harder illnesses thrown at us, I am going to begrudgingly accept a, um, uh, some, some, uh, uh, help from diagnostic nurses here. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw down a cardiology. I'm still not going to bother with general diagnosis. That's bunk, but cardiology has merits. There are some specific difficult diseases that um, don't do don't get uh, diagnosed well in the ward in psychiatry, which I normally rely on, um, but do get diagnosed really well in car cardiology. So I'm going to throw down a cardiology. Uh, again, contrary, but only because this is before we really have access to um, tech from from there. Uh, wall monitors are absolutely a fantastic addition here because they are half the price, but just as effective. So we are going to wall monitor this up. Ring around the rosy here. Um, and what the hey, we'll do some hand sanitizer. Can we squeeze them in? I know we can. Yeah, there we go. And an extinguisher. Yeah, that's better. And now we just need our temperature fixer, which we can put behind the machine. Um, level three. You know what? We'll throw down a few gold stars. See if we can't get you to level four. One more. Come on. One more and we're level four. Beautiful. Okay. The only reason I'm doing this early is that we can upgrade it sooner rather than later before we need it. Now we can also do this to grab some nurses and get them trained in diagnostics. Uh, let's see here. Charming, hangry. Um, I'm okay with that. Charming and hangry. I, I like I like hygienic. All right, we have research. We have uh, unlocked research, which is also good. But we're going to train both of these in diagnostics, and these are probably going to be the only two diagnostic nurses we we have in the entire hospital. Um, but we might as well train them. Right, we gonna have oh yeah one other thing we want to do here before we get too deep in here one drop the GP's prices down to minus 80 percent we're gonna be jacking up the price of the cures as we find them we're also gonna go diving into the overview go into policy I like setting at the, especially at the beginning of the game my diagnosis threshold for treatment to 100 percent um, I want to give myself the maximum benefit there but we're also gonna do cue warning length down to three I like to be told early when my rooms are starting to develop cues fast track for treatment decision always on um Promote staff automatically, I like that on as well, but that's more of a personal preference. So we're going to make sure that our people get uh, fully, fully diagnosed here. And yes, all these people are going to be waiting for the cardio to be fully upgraded. Uh, and that's okay, because they got to wait anyway, because our nurses are getting trained up. Uh, now, since they're going to be doing a fair amount of waiting, let's get our uh, let's get our let's get our uh, drink on. Let's get our snack on. Um, now, there's a couple of a um, couple of different things we can do here. We could do luxury drinks, but that's a little expensive. Um, I I actually prefer energy drinks. Um, energy drinks are, are one of my favorite uh, drink types. Um, actually, no, we don't want them right by that line. Um, but since we don't have these rooms placed yet, um, you know what? I'm going to put them down here because this is not going to be a super busy area. We'll do that. We'll do, um, do we want to do the salty snacks, um, energy drinks? The, um, I, I have a little build with that, but you know what? No, we're going to go standard snacks this time around. 
and we'll get a uh, bit of Big Ben next to you guys. Not quite po uh, populous of a uh, hospital enough yet to warrant that, so we're gonna we're gonna throw down a uh, an arcade machine. Um, we did get the large radiator from Three Starring Tumble, so we're going to put press that into service. That should do nicely. Get a nice radius going here. And then for our um, decor, we can do a little plant here, and uh, maybe we'll do something here. This will eventually get moved. Again, it's it's easier to adorn the corridors once those things take shape. But unlike what what I did in my uh, in my uh, adore your corridor video, that's um, that's oh yeah. Hang on, I uh, just realized something. Our two new nurses here, Nurse Bill. Nurse Erty, and you are going to be, you're both actually going to be diagnostic nurses, which means no pharmacy, um, no ward, no clown clinic, none of that, just the diagnostics, please. Um, and then Nurse Neha. Nurse Josh Barry. We'll keep the diagnostic nurses in their default scrubs. Um, we'll start changing things around later on once we get other classes of employees ready to rock and roll. Yeah, I know we're gonna have a bigger and bigger and bigger line here at cardio. But we gotta we gotta train people up. We also need to train up some um, uh, some scientists, but we will get to that um, when uh, once once we have some of the critical things. We need psychiatrists, we need uh, treatment nurses, and we need um, uh, ward nurses, uh, to say the least. So that's um, we we got to get all those classes taken care of before we get into scientists. I have discovered the heater had been jammed with sodium snacks. No wonder it ceased to function. I suspect this is the work of that unhygienic anarchist, Harrison Wolf. All right. The words will be had, I assure you. Um, so, yeah, we may want to go get into um, treatment nurses so that they can operate the pharmacy. I'm hoping that these people are pharmacies, um, pharmacy oriented here. But again, we might as well just train for everybody here. So we'll get our two new people. And yes, we're going straight treatment, not pharmacy management, because we want that flexibility. And that extra little bonus um, will certainly help us out. Right. And yes, I do know I, we now have a, a nurse that's going to be wandering around idle. I should um, get sorted my um, break room and bathroom while we're at it, because that's going to be something that needs to be a thing. And since we have a nice little two by three, like right here, the break room kind of speaks for itself. Uh, yeah, we'll put you there. We'll get a punching bag here. Um, let's see. Um, a coffee maker usually works pretty well in here. So that'll give them a nice little energy buzz, or caffeine buzz, I should say. Uh, but then they're also going to want some snacks. Uh, we'll just get them a regular snacks machine. Like that. Uh, other important bit to uh, put in here, the punching bag's an important bit. Um, and getting a hand sanitizer in here is important because they will use it. And if they're, especially if they're unhygienic, uh, you'll want them using that hand sanitizer. Uh, we'll also want a nice big bin. 
uh, to throw away any wrappers they might have. We need our temperature fixer. Can we sneak it in here? No, that's okay. Put you in like that. Uh, and then, yeah, an arcade machine is usually a pretty uh, pretty good thing to include. And yeah, that should be pretty good. Now this one, this one we do want to sort of deck out. Um, do, I have a, do I have my rug? If not, I think I'll spring the kud for the kudosh on that one. Yep, I haven't gotten the rug yet. So uh, I do like springing for that because that doesn't take up any room, but it increases prestige. Uh, but yeah, here you will want to spend the, the, the money to get the gold certificates uh, to get this room up to max level because that will help them relax all the faster. We have 11 and we've got 22, so we should be able to afford this whole thing. And we'll probably be able to afford the bathrooms while we're at it. We probably need to take a loan once we start training the next round of people, but that's okay. Yeah, we might need a loan for the bathrooms, but eh, we'll figure it out. Now, one thing that we could do here is we can sort of alter our, our corridors along here. So the, the middle corridor that's going to go along here is not necessarily need to be exactly parallel with the par corridor here. So what might be a smart move is to do a thing of toilets like right here. Get a, get a loo by four going here and then we can get another three by three sort of looped into here um, so we'll put that forward facing like so oh yeah if you have the golden toilet DLC use the golden toilets if you can afford it I actually don't have that one um, that's okay uh, now, normally I'd scooch the door over a little bit to squeeze in a, a hand dryer, but no, since I'm not scooching doors here, um, we'll do that. A uh, small radiator right in the middle here gives enough heat to heat the room without getting in people's way. Um, and then, oh uh, yeah, we'll get this, we'll get this at least up to a level three, get a little extra entertainment while people are uh, uh, dropping it like it is hot. Excellent. And also, as I usually do a, um, oh, well, I'll, I'll place machines by the bathroom later, but at least we ha now have a bathroom. We gotta wait for some treatments to come through um, before we can really get paid. Uh, now we can also take out a loan, which we'll probably be doing, but we're probably not going to be getting paid until we get uh, through here. All right, what do we got? Bog warts. All right, good. I was banking on these early ones being pharmacy ones. So now that we're getting these in here, 50%, 50%, that's where our money's going to be made. You know, all this diagnosis stuff that we're running our patients through, eh, not, not really much of anything there. And that's why we're training up our treatment nurses. It's a little bit of a backlog here, but once everyone gets trained up, then you, everyone will start, you know, just rushing through this initial buildup, and then the hospital will be start running fairly smoothly. And every time they wait, you know, you know, it's not like they're they're in the middle of dying here, and we've got their basic amenities here, so they're not going to be super miserable. I mean, you know, look at this; they're they're uh, happiness hundred percent. They're they're chilling. They're cool. They're they're. They're not uh, not too bad. Um, now this this our um, our heart racer can be upgraded again, but we have neither the time nor the money to do that. So we're gonna let it just sit there and do its thing at rank two. And yes, I know we have a we have a lineup for this. That's okay. We'll probably do either our wards or our psychiatry. Probably our ward. Uh, nurses next. We're gonna have a lot of nurses coming. Did I, uh, did I name and no, I did not. Nurse. Nurse for Jazzy. Now you are gonna be a treatment nurse, so we are going to, uh, give you, uh, green scrubs. And you are going to be relegated to 
the clown clinic, the pharmacy, and that's it for now. As we build more clinics, we'll open up more, more things for you. Um, and then you... Nurse JC, and you too will be in Green Scrubs. They are almost done with treatment. They are now done with treatment. And again, never leave your training room idle. So even though we, yeah, we could sit here and wait a little bit. Nope, I'm gonna take a loan. Don't be shy about taking loans. All right, let's see. We don't actually have uh, two nurses in, in here to, to double train. So I guess we will uh, uh, train up our psychiatrists. Uh, she, no, and not vengeful. Vengeful is terrible. Uh, toilet rage, um, unhygienic. Well, you guys kind of suck. Um, all, all y'alls. Yeah, I don't like that vengeful. Nor do I like the... Yeah, you know what we'll do? We'll do these two. And we will get, let's see. Oh, we can trade up our uh, mechanic while we're at it, and that'll be something worthwhile. But again, more critical things are, are in need right now. Psychiatry. In you to go. And also let's get uh, let's get our let's get some names here. Dr. Larissa. And then our um, uh, orange um, armbands here for our psychiatrist. And this is going to be Dr. Malena Nighthawk. And we'll get you in the arm, orange arm stripes. And also, let's let's not forget to customize their... Well, I can't, we can't customize their things because they have to learn psychiatry first. So we'll just leave them as is. All right, so now that we got our treatment nurses out in the wild, we can now actually start curing people. <laughs> uh, misery Guts, all right, good. Let's make sure we um, jack up the price to Misery Guts. That's how, this is how we're gonna be getting our money in here. All right, so far, so good on the hospital. I mean, we are eating through more of our cash than we're making, but we still have that second loan as sort of a, a thing. And there's our first cured patient for 9,000 bucks. So pretty darn good. Because, uh, yeah, Drug Mixer 2. We don't yet have the tech for Drug Mixer 3. Yes, I know. We can upgrade Heart Racer, too. I'll do that once we have an alternative diagnosis and also the money. But I'm glad we upgraded it to Heart Racer, too, just to help its, uh, help out its power. All right, let's speed you up a little bit. Staff are reminded not to be stressed. Yeah, like once I get the psychiatry room in place, then I think we'll be in good play, in good shape for it. Yeah, of course we gotta get somebody in there to fix this thing, but that's okay. It's a good early game thing, but I, I like the X-ray a little bit better. But we don't have the X-ray yet. But we're gonna be getting the X-ray in this level. All right, psychiatry is done. So now we hire to and don't forget your eating shoes because you're coming on a trip with Chef Ricky. Yes, it's me, Ricky Hawthorne. And today I'll be taking your taste buds all over Two Point County and talking about some of my most favorite comestibles. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop you in here. We're going to kick off a thing for ward management. And then here's another, and here's another little trick here. Once, once this second nurse 
comes becomes available, we'll just drop them in here and they'll pick up uh, that and that helps us summon the, uh, the trainer and they'll just get added to the class. Uh, energy Hygienic, welcome aboard. What do we got here? Uh, promote three staff. Sure, we're 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 in a we're in a good position. We have a lot of low level staffs. So that means they're going to gain levels quickly. All right. So now that we have our psychiatrist, we do want to build a psychiatry. Um, yeah, around here would be pretty good. We can put the door over here. That, uh, that should work out fairly well. Get the uh, psychiatrist couch over here. I like to do this little like chair and then chair facing away from it and then we do rig around the rosy with the uh, medicine cabinets to help that out. Because these, again, they help out both treatment and diagnostics, and the psych room is a treatment slash diagnostics room, so it, uh, it it pulls double duty. And there's no machine in here, meaning we don't need to spend the money or time upgrading. Uh, so it, it's useful in that regard. Um, all right, put the put this on the opposite side of where the door is, that way it doesn't nobody bumps into it. Can we fit a hand sanitizer? Yes, we can. Might as well. Hand sanitizer is always good. Rugs are always good. Oop, nope. And unless they push the cost of the room over what I can afford, then they're not good. Um, okay, yeah. Well, let's trim back a little bit there. Boom. We'll throw one more in there later. Um, also, we can go to um, let's go to our staff here because we got a couple of people that we got to do here. Doctor, these two are going to have everything turned off except for psychiatry. Um, and then, actually, with our other new new hires, uh, Nurse D. Hoke. You're going to be Nurse Shona. And uh, for our um, for our ward nurses, um, I like to have the uh, pale blue as uh, as uh, as our as our ward nurses here. And then for. Wait, are they all calling them nurse? Yeah, we'll just call them nurse that. Let's see here. Do, do, do. Nurse Zafira. And you too will be getting pale blue. And oh yeah, so um, our, our ward nurses are gonna have these all turned off and only allowed to work in the Fracture Ward or the regular Vanilla Ward. There we go. So once they exit their room... Aha! So we just, uh, we just had someone promoted. Yeah, early levels get quick, quick promotions. Our GP just got promoted. But we'll we'll uh, we'll be working on that. You are now discharged. Oh yeah, now that we have some more money, and we also now that we have people milling around here, let's uh, populate this. Um, so, drinks machine, snack machine. What do we have here? Pharmacy emergy. Yes. Four of them we can handle. Um, and now those are four that we don't even have to. Uh... All right, we got uh, we got our, our train three uh, staff here, or promote three staff, so that works out nicely. All right, our one GP is an open out, but that's why we have the second. Uh, let's finish uh, decking this area out. We will get ourselves the bin. 
Um, a large radiator over here. Actually, we'll, along here will be a good idea. Maintenance and let's get some plants. Plants do need water. I'm going to get one over here by this door. Aha! We need a ward. That's perfectly fine. We can provide you with a ward. Who am I to not allow, not to supply a ward to my peoples? We are going to need another loan for this beast, though. Might as well repay the top one while we're taking the bottom one. Um, all right, so let's get our ward, and you guys know what we're going to be building here. This looks like a good spot for it. Um, the uh, for the for the power ward. Um, I'm gonna put the door over here just because they with the doors too close to each other here that might cr induce a little bit of crowding. So yeah, we'll put the door over here. Put you up here, flip, flip, boom, 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 and a butta boom. Then we get our medicine cabinets. Boom, 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 boom. Wall monitors. No dose trace on one side. Uno dose trace on the next side. Our two screens here in the middle. See if we can't squeeze in somewhere a hand sanitizer. Yes, we can. Um, and yeah. Let's get some of those things. I like my power wards all the way to level five. Just because we have multiple staff working in them. And patients st spend a long time in them. So everybody gets happier with a bigger, pre more prestigious room. Boom. Oh, almost forgot my temperature fixer. That wouldn't make people happy. And yeah, the radiator right between the beds works perfectly. Um, and since it's way over here, we might as well uh, do more decking out. Uh, energy drinks machine, snack machine. Big bin right over here. Um, we're good on temperature fixers. Oh yeah, let's. Um, we're probably gonna want uh, some entertainment. Actually, a little, a little uh, fun over there wouldn't be a bad thing. Can we squeeze you in here? Hmm. Can we? Can we do something? I know you can. Shift. One of, one of these buttons lets you like selectively rotate this on an axis. Like not not on a, oh. That might be a little overcrowdy though. Not quite sure I like that. Let's put you here. Alright, I um oh yeah, well last but not least, let us get you um one extra staff. Now that also means we do need one more word ward nurse to have proper coverage, but the two trainees that we're about to spit out here uh, will fill the room just fine. Um, all right, now um, we've got our GPs, we've got our psychiatrists, we've got our ward nurses, we've got our treatment nurses, we've got our diagnostic nurses. Um, we need our scientists. We need our scientists, and I'd like to train up two of them. Um, their traits are not... Uh, I don't like tryer, so yeah, let's let's get you. And you, and we will train up our scientists. It's weird that it's doing the same song. Eh, whatever. Research. Get in there. That is that is what we're what we're trying to do here. Oh, we're doing just fine. Um, and for our new scientists, uh, let's see. 
Doctor. Doctor Michael. And for a scientist, well, we have to wait to, till they learn the researcher to assign them the appropriate jobs, but we will give them the um, the blue trim here. And uh, Dr. Dr. Mimic to get the blue trim. Excellent. Okay, we're good. Oh, uh, right. So we um, we have our VIPs. They go head of the line here. So make sure you uh, manually manipulate them accordingly. The one thing I forgot to do when I accepted that emergency is I should have uh, pre-repaired my drug mixer so it was at full health. Um, but I think we should be okay for the moment. All right, let's uh, let's speed things up just a smidge here. I know we have our receptionist out, and actually we do need a, a second receptionist, technically speaking. There you go. In you go. And actually, yeah, let's actually upgrade that, because it's since it's damaged... Um, are you my machinist? Yes, you are. So... Um, so when you're upgrading a, uh, um, a machine, it also repairs it while you're at it. So we might as well use this time to uh, upgrade the uh, upgrade the heart racer now that we have two other rooms that can diagnose available to us. Yeah, we don't need to take out any more loans. You only really need to take the loans if you have... The, you, you need to know what you're going to build. Like, for example, this light bulb? Yeah, we're probably going to be building a light bulb clinic pretty soon. Although, I may wait to farm that money up naturally and then just might send this one light bulb ho head home uh, manually. Because um, if you get one patient for a very expensive clinic, it, you might not be ready for it. And it's okay to send that first patient or two or three home. Uh, although we are, actually we are going to need to take an, take another loan um, because we need to build our research room. Uh, three by four works out nicely over here in the very back. Uh, now we're not going to be actually. Let's get the door over here. Uh, one research pod. This is required. And then researchers' desks. Each of these are. I like to have two of them in there. Those two researchers. Uh, we are not going to spring for all the other accoutrements here. We're going to we're going to spring for a temperature fixer. Um, we're going to spring for some gold star awards just to keep people happy. Yeah, prestige level three is fine. All right, so um, our scientists here can now are now only going to be working science. And actually, yeah, I don't have my treatment doctors trained up yet, so I think our light bulb head is going to get sent home. I do need to, to train up some treatment doctors, so that might be next on my docket. Um, but they do want us to start chromotherapy. Because that's 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 the first thing, and it's only 250 points. Oh yeah, just like with the ward, we're gonna put two people in here because we have two doctors, and we don't need a plus one. We do not need a plus one uh, for research because it's okay if we leave the room empty, unlike with most of the other patient stuff. Now I know we got some lines building up here, but that's okay for the moment. Uh, because we had that emergency gumming up the works. 
this they'll chew through this uh, this queue eventually, and then this queue will go away once the heart racer is all uh, all upgraded. Four out of four patients, big money, big rep. I like it. Um, have we missed it? Ah, lazy bones. I knew, I knew someone had a ward disease in there that we might have missed. So despite our price gouging, our reputation's holding pretty steady here. And Deluxe. Yeah, you know what? We're not quite ready yet. Although, we kind of are. Uh, well, not quite ready, but um, we can start training up our treatment doctors now. Uh, and also, I realized I've committed the sin of leaving my uh, thing on on uh, thing. All right, we're gonna do the same. Oh, nasty. Well, eh, nasty is not as bad as I thought it was originally, so I'll tolerate, it, especially for a treatment doctor. Uh, we could actually have. Um, oh, teaching speed! You're a natural mentor. Beautiful. That saves us money. All right, Fujezi, get in there. And then we'll just drop in our uh, our second new doctor to get treatment going as well. I am so happy we have a natural mentor because uh, that's going to save us money, and also makes makes them train faster. In you go. Yes, I know. All right, so you two. Uh, let's see, doctor. No limage. You are going to get a green trim because um, you're a treatment doctor. And as a treatment doctor, you're going to only be allowed to work in the treatment clinics. And you are going to be Dr. Aurelius. And you too will be green trim um, and yes I I know you're gonna be counting down to to that we'll, we'll get you built we'll be right back. all right deluxe clinic where is a good place for this now looking at here this is where we really want our four tile wide deals here all of these really want to be the four tile wide deals um, meaning we don't really have a super duper place for it. Unless, since this thing kind of juts out, we could do our deluxe clinic like right here. Something like that. Yeah, we have this, this, this null space down here, but that's not the worst thing in the world. Um... Yeah, actually, I think that's a good idea. And then we'll just, you know what, we'll just flesh it out. Because there's nothing really productive that's otherwise going to be used there, so we might as well give it a couple extra tiles to improve that. All right, so we'll put you there, the deluxe lux right here. Yeah, make it quick and easy there. Console. So you know what, we'll keep the, the console back here so the doc and then put all the uh, doctor accoutrement right against the wall here. So the things that they'll want to use, like the uh, hand sanitizer. I do like doing the coffee maker stuff in clinics just because the doctor is often idle here. So this keeps them over here. And of course we can't forget our temperature fixer. Oh, did I put the? Yes, I did. I put the radiator in there, radiator in there. All right, everyone has their temperature fixers. Uh, we'll also want our um, extinguisher. Put that one closer to the door. And since we're at level two, let's throw down just a couple of these. Beautiful. And since, um, let's kick off one of these. It might take a little while for our uh, person to get to it since they're working on this, but... Deluxe clinic calling doctor. 
Looks like they're taking a break, actually. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of failed treatments here, but we still get paid, and that's the important part. Alright, we have a nice five by four space I here. We could put a sport. we could put another Animal ward there if we wanted to. Oily um, you must try the rendition of the region's kidney and kidney pie. Make chromotherapy is another thing though. That's that that one's gonna be too. I'll also recommend right, trying um, the famous linseed aioli mixed in barrels. But we might as well get going in bats. there. And yeah. Um Let's get them training in research because they're going to be skilling up pretty quickly. So we'll start the project. We'll actually build the um, chromotherapy once we actually need a patient in chromotherapy. Although it looks like we have one wandering in the halls waiting for diagnosis here. All right, we got our treatment doctors out. Excellent. All right, now at this point we might want to start. Um, actually, let's get our uh, let's get our um, <laughs> our our mechanic uh, leveled up here. That way they can start doing these up applying these upgrades a little bit faster. But we are going to need to uh, build that one pretty soon. As soon as they announce that somebody wants the... I'll tell them to wait. Um, and then we should have enough uh, potty mouth. Excellent. Potty mouth, 50%. Oh, and lightheadedness. Can't forget that. All right, 12K, there's our lightheadedness clinic uh, go, doing its thing. Chromotherapy, get patient to wait, but we can afford it. And this is four by three. Interesting. So four by three gives us a, hmm, four by three. Four by three. Yeah, we could put that there, but I want to save this space for a, a, a thing that's a little bit more demanding of space. So I think what I'm going to do instead We're going to do a 4x3 here, and then we'll do a little co mini corridor running down here. That sounds, that sounds sensible to me. Now keep in mind, I don't have these things fully mapped out. I, I just do it sort of organically based on what, what order I, the rooms are needed and, and, and what have you. We'll get you in there. Got our temperature fixer. Yeah, let's get the coffee maker and the sweets um, and enough gold stars to get you up to. Yeah, well, you know what? We'll make this since it's a little bit more focused in this level. Prestige level four. Uh, oh yeah, we don't have any upgrades for the colorizer just yet. Holy crap! All right, it's uh, it's time we get more GP's office. Um, Cause desk desk a lot. Uh, let's get another GP. <laughs> no reason not to. Um, yeah, no, that that would be a bad place. Actually, we can nestle this in here right here. This actually works out really well. This is this is a, an advanced technique 
Um, I was actually going to be doing a video on this. I, I call it uh, pyramiding, where you nest uh, ever decreasingly wide rooms on top of each other like this to maximize that. But yeah, go nesting. This is nesting, my friends, and it, it is effective. Um, we are going to need to hire another or train up another GP, though. Didn't realize our GP skew was going to go up that high that quickly. Um, earn 100k. Might be able to hit that. Mucky feet. Train it in the ward. Fair enough. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Grey Anatomy needs to get hiked up. Mucky feet needs to get hiked up. Excellent. And this is why we hired the Ghost Capturer. Alright, Mechanics 2. Good. We need a few more... Yeah, there we go. Let's see. We need a few more treatments and then we'll be golden. Um, Alright, we do need one more GP. Um, argue, Toilet, Rage... Ah, oh, yeah, you're fine. Now, we could take one of our GPs off the floor to train them, but I'm not, because they're both needed. And they also, they both need training. Um, and then you, I think we're almost through. Dr. Thibault. And that's all of my name and game patrons. So if you guys want to uh, hop aboard the name and game patron train, um, I'm, I'm recording these spaced out. So um, uh, anyone else who wants to dive in, you'll um, in our next episode in this walkthrough, uh, you might uh, find yourself as a doctor or nurse as I hire them. Visitor. Ballistics. All right. He's going to walk around. He's going to puke. He's going to ruin my plants and uh, just generally make himself a nuisance. But it's not actually he hold the holistic CEO visiting is probably the least of the, of the least worst of the uh, of the problem CEOs you could have. Hey, it looks like we're going to get our 100k, which works out nicely. Yep, all right. Extra kudosh, extra happiness. Works for me. All right, it looks like we're going to get our uh, cure patient there. Pharmacy emergency. Yeah, we can handle that. There's no... It's The queue is short enough. We are going to want to uh, call a, a handyman to get that. Okay, we've got our thing here. Let's get more training. And now we're not going to be hiring more people. We want to start training up the people that we got. Um, all right, so it looks like our, our, our junior doctors here are... Um... Oh, wait, we haven't researched that yet. Okay, so let's get these two uh, going. Now, this is going to cause some problems for us here since we're pulling two out of the three off the floor, but it's so much better in the long run to have them uh, uh, on board here. All right, and there we go. Encyclopedia 1, Lux Deluxe uh, 3. Excellent. Um... Right, Q. Let's get you down here, and that bumps all the VIPs up. We are probably going to need another pharmacy sooner rather than later, but eh, I think we're making do for now. It's okay if the researchers nope out on a break. 
Okay, so I think we I'm gonna call the episode here. Um, well, uh, we'll do. I'm gonna do each episode as a full in-game year, at least until we three-star this beast. Uh, so let's see how we did. Rising star, uh, Dr. Michael. Um, got employer of the year, teaching hospital. Uh, we did have a death. Um, um, we didn't get patient's choice, but we did get prestigious research and hospital of the year. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. All right, folks. So I hope you liked part one, year one, if you will, of my Matan University walkthrough. Uh, if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!